This is when the blood pressure starts coming down to 100. You are very cautious, you are very afraid about whether you should put this patient on army or whether you should continue. And there is always a tendency that we try to switch off the drug and try to switch, up, switch on again back to an AC inhibitor. Now if you see this analysis, that uh, this uh, study which had the analysis has been done by Bohem, it has been shown that RNA reduces the risk of CV death and heart failure hospitalization even in patients with low blood pressure. This is something very surprising and very interesting that 12% reduction in risk of cardiac death or heart failure hospitalization, heart failure with reduction of patients with even low BP. If your patient has a low side BP of around 100 and your patient doesn't have any symptoms, please continue your RNA. Do not switch off, switch off the RNA because it has been shown that even with a low BP or even with a more this borderline BP, if your patient continues your sac well, they do well. Now, if you try to analyze whatever is given in the hypotensive episode outcomes in this slide, what you see in the red are the patients with sac well and what you see in the blue are the patients with inhalable. It was seen that even when the patients had a blood pressure which is borderline and were continued on sac valve, the death and adverse events were also less in this arm. So this indicates that hypotension does not lessen the treatment advantage of sac valve over inhalable. And next, older patients with lower BP require a little bit more intense monitoring and this is as such in all your heart failure patients and if you monitor them carefully and try to score to the maximum tolerable dose without any side effects the patient do benefit with ARNI. So this the take home message should be that do not be afraid if the blood pressure is around 100, do not pull out your patients from ARNI, try to monitor them carefully because this is a drug which will give you benefit even in patients with borderline systolic blood pressures.